Welcome to Wes Explains Best. We're doing a Khan Academy tutorial on properties of exponents, rational exponents. There's another Khan Academy on the intro of this, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you try that first. I think this one's the next level up. So we have our first problem here. We write the expression in the form k times z to the n. Essentially what we need to do is we need to have some number, some constant number there, k, and then we have our variable with some uh, exponent, okay? Now, let's go ahead and take a look what we have to work with here. We have this whole thing in parentheses raised to the one-third power. Now, what I would do here is recognize something. I would rewrite this. Sorry, it's a little too heavy. I would rewrite that first. Now, what you know about rational exponents is going to significantly help you. First off, if you have uh, the, the basis of a rational exponent, okay, you have a top number, a numerator, and a denominator, right, and a fraction. This top number is going to be like powers, okay, and this bottom number are going to be your roots. So, for example, if we just, let's just take our, our problem that we have over there. If we have z squared and then square uh, the third root, the cube root, this is our power, this is our root, and we can see the numbers there. So we can rewrite this as z, power of two, sorry, that's a z. It's my, two, my twos and z's. My z's have a, a line through it. There you go. So our power is two, and then we put the root in the denominator three. That's how we rewrite it in rational exponent form. So let's the, that's the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this inside the parentheses as z to the two over three power. Don't forget about the times 27, because remember, we're going to have it in this form. Okay, this is still in parentheses, and we're going to raise it to the one-third power. When you have an exponent on the outside, you have to essentially raise everything inside, everything that's separated by multiplication, to that same power. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take 27, and we're going to take the cube root of that, or raise it to the one-third. 27 to the one-third power is the same thing as the cube root of 27 okay just so you know uh most people probably like to think of the cube root of 27 versus raised to the one-third power okay then what we're going to do here is we have this z friend z to the two-thirds power raised to the one-third power our property of exponent states that if we have a power raised to a power we're going to multiply exponents so we're going to do two-thirds times one-third that gives us z multiply top times top you get two over nine so z to the 2 ninths power, z to the 2 ninths power. Okay, now we just need to simplify from here. That fraction can't be reduced. You can reduce it if you are able to. You're not. Uh, cube root of 27 is 3. So it's 3 times z to the 2 ninths power, and that's our final answer. 3 times z oops, to the, where's our, to the fraction, 2 over 9 power. Check it. Got it. Ne moving on to the next one. Whew, we got a doozy here. So the first thing I would do is, this is this is rather complicated, but this is a good problem. Okay, first thing was we have two common bases, so we can combine the exponents. If it's multiplication between the two like bases, then we add exponents. So we're going to have x to the three-fourths, okay, plus negative one. Okay, keep the base the same, add the exponents. Well, that's going to give us, well, if you need a refresher on adding, that's fine. But this is a negative 4 over 4. So we're going to get negative 1 over 4. And don't forget we have that square root still. Okay, so I simplified this, became x to the negative 1 fourth. I still have the square root to deal with. Keep in mind, a square root is the same thing as raising it to the one half power. Square root, imagine there's like a two here. I already told you that we have power. I can't remember what color I used, but whatever. And then we have the root on the bottom. Okay, so power over root. So we can rewrite this power, this root as a power by doing one over two. Okay, that's essentially saying that the root is two. So second root, square root, there we go. Rewrite it like this. Now we just have power raised to a power. We're going to multiply exponents. This is like a complete problem right here. Times 1 half. So negative 1 over 4 times 1 over 2 gives us x to the 
negative one over eight. And I think it wants us to write it like that. So we're gonna leave it as x to the negative one over eight. Let me just double check that, negative one over eight. Okay, check it. Moving on, we got it. Whoo, we got more doozies right here. Now, first thing I would notice, we have this z in the denominator with one third. Okay, I don't want I don't want fractions with this. Okay, I don't want a z in the denominator, so I need to rewrite this using exponents. Well, we know that z to the negative one is equal to one over z. Okay, so if I were to write that, if I were to write one over z squared, that would be the same thing as z to the negative two. So if I have this guy, which is one over z, because I just got rid of the z there, I put, I put a one. If I'm just concentrating on this bottom part by itself, I just put a one. z to the one third is gonna be the same thing as z to the negative one over three power. Okay, now I'm gonna leave my square root, my big square root at the end, okay? And I had a z already inside, this top z. Leave him alone, z times, and then we already said this one third part is gonna be rewritten as z to the negative one third. Now we have multiplying like bases. We are gonna add exponents. There's a one there, an implied one. So we're gonna have z, like bases, z to the one, and then we're adding a negative one over third, one over three. One is the same thing as three over three plus a negative one third. It gives us two over three. So z to the two thirds. Now we need to convert this square root into an exponent. That's one over two. So this is being raised to the one over two power. Exponent raised to an exponent, we're gonna multiply exponents. Two thirds times one over two. We can cross cancel and we get z to the one third power. Z to the fraction, one third power. Check it. Let's go. One more problem. All right, let's break this down. First thing I would do is I'd cross off this eight and the two and leave only a four in the top. So we have four y squared over, now I'm gonna rewrite this. Hopefully you guys are getting good at this. This is a root, so we can rewrite it as an exponent where the root's the bottom of the fraction. So that's y to the one fourth. Okay, so y to the one fourth is this rewritten over there. Now I don't like it in the bottom of a fraction though. So again, y to the one fourth, if it's in the bottom, we, that's equal to y to the negative one fourth. So I'm gonna change this again to four y squared times, instead of divide, by y to the negative one fourth power. Now I have like bases, y and y, so I'm gonna add exponents, two plus a negative one fourth. Okay, this one we're gonna have to get a little creative because two can be rewritten as eight over four, and then we're subtracting one over four, that's gonna give us seven over four with y as the base. Let's rewrite it again, four times y, seven over fourth power, and that's it, I think we're done. Four times y to the power fraction, seven over four, right? Seven, four, Check it, let's see if we got it. We got it, all right, 100%. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know if you want me to go over anything again. Leave a comment and be sure to check out more of these videos on West Explains Best.